Thank you so much, Norma, for coming and talking to me today and sitting down. You're welcome, Caroline. How did we get paired as mentor and mentee? We became mentor-mentee when you started as an intern last year. And then when we brought you back in this year, it was easier to just mess with you and keep going with it. What are the traits of a successful mentee? You have to be willing to learn, willing to be trained. What would you say is my professional weakness? What is my strength? You're willing to try anything new. You don't just say no, I don't know how to do it. You're willing to learn it and go for it. I think your weakness is when you speak, you don't give enough confidence in yourself. But you know what you're doing. Tell me about a time that you wanted to give up. How did you push past that? There's plenty of those times. <laughs> but one of the biggest ones, it had nothing to do with work. I had a kid at home. I had finals, electrical engineering. It's a tough field. I found myself sitting there doing homework saying, this is it, I'm done. I can be a stay-at-home mom or I can get a side job. My mom stayed up with me all night while I did my homework to make sure that I did it. That's It's kind of funny because you're, I was, what, 22 and my mom is watching me do my homework. <laughs> She kind of was like, hey, I'm gonna be here with you, so let's do this. She's like, I have no clue what you're doing, but let's do this. I was like, okay. What are some misconceptions or myths about engineering? That this is a male-only field. We had a director a couple years ago, a female director, who made a comment of the best way that you can move up in engineering or do great in engineering is if you think like a man and you dress like a man. But that's not the case anymore. We're proving it can go either way. You know, both are just as good at the role. We even have a female CEO. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me and being my mentor.